Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast. I am your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. Uh, we're going to go over to New Jersey, where there was a big FBI sting at the airport, Teetleboro Airport, uh, last weekend. Took down a Lucchese Mafia associate, as well as a leader of the Nine Trey Gangsters, uh, a faction of the Blood Street Gang. His name is Edwin E. Money Spears. It's been in the news, you know, the last two decades uh, for his role uh, as a leader of the uh, of the Nine Trade Gangsters, as well as an associate and social companion in some cases with Little Joe Perna, who is uh, kind of a mafia, one of the mafia princes of the Garden State uh, from the Perna mob dynasty out there for a while. Uh, was one of the co-leaders of that. Lucchese faction. And uh, in the 2000s, he was working really closely with E Money Spears. They both went down in Operation Heat. Uh, so Edwin Spears, E Money, got nailed at the airport last weekend trying to take a, a million and a half dollars worth of cocaine and marijuana uh, onto a private plane. And they were headed out of the country. Uh, FBI stopped them in their tracks. Uh, they are right now being held uh, without bond in uh, the Metro Detention Center in uh, in New York City. You know, like I said, he, he is a, a, a previously convicted felon. And for mob watchers and and for people that want to do you know play the what if game and 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 do some math uh, or some potential math in and how things play out and how you know people can get jammed uh and dominoes can then fall uh and i'm not i don't want that might be a a little premature and i'm not trying to and by any way by any means say that uh, e-money spears is someone that uh, would cooperate everything i've heard uh he is uh, as uh hardcore uh OG as it comes, even though he's about 50, uh, he's a guy that really believes in the code. And uh, I, I, I don't believe he, he is a, a, a threat to flip. But uh, what I will report is that he was named as a potential suspect back in 2007 in the murder of Lucchese mob soldier Frankie Logano, who was killed in front of the Seville Diner, which was his uh, uh, his place of business in East Brunswick, New York, off Route 18. Uh, he was killed in April of 07. He had been outed as a state police informant. And uh, a guy who was a, a numbers whiz, had a college business degree, had been very close to uh, former Lucchese acting boss Alphonse Little Al Arco, uh, had been one of, uh, had been a driver of his. And uh, at in the 2000s, he was kind of the boots on the ground for the Lucchese's bookmaking uh, affairs in, you know, certain parts of New Jersey, uh, working um, uh, or was part of a, a, a gambling ring uh, in, in, East, in East Rutherford, uh, right by the uh, Jets and where the Jets and the Giants play at the Meadowlands. And word started to circulate, or I should say word started to uh, drip to the FBI that was investigating at the time in New Jersey State uh, Police that the Lucchese family, or there were informants that were telling them that the Lucchese family had farmed out the contract to the Nine Trade Gangsters and, and E Money Spears's group. Um, that's neither here nor there. It's never been proven. It was investigated. No charges were ever brought. Uh, little Joe Perna was received his button. Uh, about five or six months later in a ceremony in Tom's River, there are people that told the FBI that uh, his participation in the Logano hit got him his, you know, that was him making his bones and got his, uh, got his induction into the Lucchese crime family as a result months after that. There are also reports that were going, uh, coming into to investigators that the leaders of the Lucchese's specifically at that time, Maddie Madonna um, wasn't happy with the way that the, the murder was carried out. Some people have attributed that to 
the nine trade gangsters uh, being, you know, so brazen, uh, carrying it out in broad daylight. He allegedly made very, very well known his, his misgivings and his displeasure with the hit, but didn't seem to block or with the way the hit went down, not with the hit, uh, but didn't, didn't seem to, to uh, disrupt uh, little Joe Perna's rise. And right now, you know, he's looked at as a, a guy that will most likely be a major player in this family uh, going forward for, for the next uh, 20, 30 years. But uh, it's just something to think about uh, that connection and, and that, that angle to this, I guess. But uh, E Money Spears is looking at, uh, you know, he, he, he's he's this is a federal case as opposed to the state case, but a lot of money and a lot of drugs. So we will see uh, right now the Lucchese's in New Jersey are being allegedly run by uh, Georgie Neck. Zapola uh, took over for the Pernas, who have, I guess, taken a step back a little bit. That whole Perna Mafia dynasty. Uh, they led the uh, New Jersey Lucchese racket through the 2000s and 2010s. Um, I'm sure they'll be back in the mix or still are in the mix. Like I said, little Joe Perna ain't going anywhere. Uh, and just walked out of his sentence from um, this Operation Heat in the last year or two. So uh, just something to keep an eye on. Edwin E. Money Spears, leader of the Nine Trade Gangsters. I guess his, his specific fas- uh, faction is called the nine three headbusters. This, by the way, this uh, whole story was broken by Dave Schratweiser over at Mob Talk Sit Down News. Shout out to him. He's always does such a such a great job. Him and George Anastasia always have their finger on the pulse on anything that's happening in, in, in the New Jersey or Philadelphia underworld. So we'll keep you updated on, on the OG pod. I'm Scott Bernstein out.